use the oracle to actually sort of like move it around. Yeah, and okay. then it might open up the canal a little bit better for you. Today we're in the Clinical Skill Center, and what we do is we practice um, talking to patients who have been trained to teach us what good techniques are and what maybe not so good techniques are. It looked healthy, no bulging or perforations. You want to try um, the other ear? Okay. So it simulates the kind of environment that you'll get in, when you actually get to your rotations in the hospital. What's unique about our school is that we start very early on uh, teaching students uh, communication skills and physical exam skills right in the very first semester. In this safe environment, we're able to develop our uh, empathy skills and our compassion skills and especially our communication skills. Everybody's seen from uh, doing taking patient histories that I, I realize some things that I really that I need to work on it. We try to create as realistic uh, an experience for learners as possible. Regular exam rooms, procedure rooms, assembly areas, meeting areas. We have point of care uh, computer terminals identical to what's used in the hospital. They log into that, they go into the room, conduct the encounter, just like the real thing. As a first year medical student, going through those motions and, and learning how to take appropriate notes and, and learn what is important to document and what is not as important is an opportunity that the te technology here affords us. At this Clinical Skills Center, we have the ability to test the students on a variety of skills, not only their skills with physical exam, but communication, specialized communication, for example, breaking bad news, discussing treatment plans with patients, counseling. Other than the diabetes and high cholesterol, are there any other medical conditions? Not for me, no. It's really neat because you get to work with standardized patients who act like real patients, um, and they kind of help you warm up to the idea of speaking to a real patient in our third and fourth years and afterwards in residency. I try to focus on what did I learn in class this week? So if we're looking at the heart, what different sounds am I listening to and what do those mean and how do those correlate to the diseases that we're learning about in our classes. The success of students depends on their being able to practice and demonstrate uh, not just the individual skills, but how all of these individual skills culminate in, in the most polished and poised and professional position they can be. Students who have gone through this program have come back to tell us how well prepared they feel to function in a high pressure setting of the hospital. I honestly really enjoy getting feedback because it, it helps me understand uh, how to improve and that that's exactly why I'm here is to learn to get better. The skills that I am learning here at OUWB in my first year directly correlate with the rest of my life in, in a career of medicine. As a physician, I'll be using all of these clinical skills to diagnose patients and pathologies that ultimately will make me a better physician. Mm -hmm.